The sea is full of hungry hunters. In fact, almost nobody is safe. Since most sea creatures spend their entire lives trying to avoid being eaten, they've come up with some ingenious strategies for survival. Leatherfish find protection in the venomous spines of these sea urchins. But these pencil urchins don't have venomous spines, and they move so slowly that they make a tortoise seem like a hare. That makes the urchins an easy meal for rays and other animals who can crush them in powerful jaws if they find them out in the open. That's why the urchins like to hide. The best hiding places are holes in the reef. These holes didn't just happen, urchins made them. You see, urchins eat algae off the reef. Sometimes they get a little carried away and take a bite of the reef itself. It's kind of like taking a bite out of the dinner table after every meal. Over thousands of years and many generations of urchins, these bites add up to big holes and the reef starts to look like a piece of Swiss cheese. And with all of these hungry urchins grazing on the reef, the algae is mowed down to an invisible film. But what's this? A lush green patch of algae. So why haven't the urchins mowed it down? Well, that's because this algae belongs to someone else. This guy, the damselfish. Damselfish are farmers. They spend their lives tending their gardens of algae. They don't have no trespassing signs, but when they catch an urchin munching in their algae patch, they spring into action, physically removing the spiny intruders from their property. That's the last time this urchin will steal algae. Adding insult to injury, a couple of curious sea lions arrive to investigate. And maybe to make fun of the ousted urchin. This feisty little fish is so protective of its algae that it ignores this diver, even though he's over 30 times its size. Instead, the farmer damsel seems obsessed with evicting the hungry urchin. Damselfish get pretty upset, but while urchins may be thieves, the damselfish actually owe them a thank you. That's because when it comes time for the damselfish to breed, they make their nest in the very holes carved by the urchins. The male chooses a likely hole and then he invites a female to lay eggs. While she is laying the eggs, the male follows her around and fertilizes them. Once the eggs are laid, they need lots of oxygen. Damselfish are good parents, so they spend a lot of time fanning the eggs, making sure that their babies will emerge healthy and strong. So in the end, it's a trade-off. The urchin gets some vegetables, the damselfish get a safe place to lay their eggs, and the sea lions seem to enjoy the show. <laughs>